Hey folks, we're going to take a quick jump back in time right here, and we're going to use this to relate to some of the scientific articles that we have seen more recently. This was something I posted on the website, Principia picked it up. Um, the impact of a magnetic pole shift on the life of Earth is profound, absolutely profound. I'll provide a link for this down below, uh, but when I said that the more recent story felt like almost the two years later version of reading the open letter that I put out to geophysicists a couple years ago, um, it really was on point. Uh, before we jump to that quickly, this article was really interesting. We have seen a number of these articles recently on the importance of magnetism for tiny life. Everything from uh, phytoplankton to ants, uh, other insects, and its impact on microbes cannot be uh, overstated despite their diminutive size. They play an incredible role in the biosphere, not just in terms of being some of the smallest parts of the food chain, but from oceanic chemistry to soil chemistry, soil health, to the microbiomes of individual larger creatures like us and like many other mammals, this is, this is not something that can be ignored. When I've said in previous videos that this magnetic pole shift is going to have an effect on everything, nothing is going to be untouched or unaffected by this. It's because we can now see, in, in addition to this intuitively being rather obvious, the studies are now out there to support this. Anyway, here is the paper that was the big story a couple of days ago. Everything from the impact to the extinction of species during these geomagnetic events, these magnetic pole shifts, these magnetic excursions, to the effect on consciousness, uh, not just from a human perspective, but they've done these studies on several other mammals. Some of the best ones have been on mice. Um, the impact of a changing magnetic field directly onto life is profound. And that goes from microbes all the way up to humans. But what I liked about this article was it didn't just talk about those things. It expanded to uh, talking about increased radiation, not just from cosmic rays as the magnetic field weakens and lets in more and more and more of this cosmic radiation, but how it destroys the ozone, allowing more ultraviolet light to come in. This has severe impacts on cells uh, down to a DNA level. This impacts the cloud cover and it impacts the climate in a pretty tremendous way. They studied several of the things that we have gone over on this channel in detail. They have included and cited several of the key papers that we have identified here on this channel. And again, the, the links to these things are down below, but I want to reiterate, this is the most important underreported story in the world today, without question. The impact of these events is profound and has been profound over geologic time. Every single time we enter one of these shifts, several species go extinct. For the species that are lucky enough to continue on, they take major hits to their population numbers. We are in the stages of getting into another one right now. They happen cyclically. They are expected to happen every so many thousand years. We are exactly due in time. We are seeing exactly the things in the magnetic field that one would expect, and we are seeing everything on Earth that you would expect to see resulting therefrom occurring as well. For observers who are veterans of the channel, just for a moment, we're going to do a mental exercise. Take the solar micronova out of it. Take the cyclical deluge that comes with the Earth turning over out of it. Just forget those entirely. From simply an increased radiation perspective, a direct, a direct impact on cells, a direct impact on cognition and other consciousness processes, and then realize that it sets the climate into chaos. It's not that hard to see why these events are so important for the biosphere, the life of this planet. And again, 
That's if we just ignore several of the things that we know come with this cycle. Anyway, always a fun, lovely reminder of what we're going through right now. I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.